Assassin's Creed 2 Games. being revealed here at E3. A lot of new stuff, a lot of things that, that weren't in the first game. But what would you say is the, the core essential thing that makes it Assassin's Creed? And what's, what's the most important thing that, that still makes it an Assassin's Creed game? Well, what makes an Assassin's Creed game is the assassin, right? It's that, that main character who's like has all those skills of, uh, well, eliminate his targets with uh, his, his hidden blade. This time around we got uh, two hidden blades. But also the fact that he's so good at, at running around and, and doing parkour, free run, climbing. Also the ability to play with the crowd, you know, blend in in a crowd situation instead of being in shadow in the light. So, you know, an assassin game is all about being in a crowd. And also what's really important is, a, is the sitting, you know, this like, a, for us it's a pivotal moment in history, that's, that's our thing. And this time around we went to uh, the Italian Renaissance uh, era, that's, our, uh, that's brand new for Assassin's Creed 2. What, what would you say is it that makes uh, that, that era so uh, a great setting for, for an assassin? Well, there's many reasons why uh, the Italian Renaissance is such a great setting for us. First, it's like this, you know, this, the cities, the beautiful cities in which you play, uh, that were kind of like for us easier to make in a way, because since there's still those, you know, back alleys, you know, small streets. So it was and, and beautiful architecture to climb to. So that was uh, one part. The other one was like the main characters from the Renaissance, people that uh, um, are known this time around. So Leonardo da Vinci, Nicola Machiavelli, uh, the Medici, and, and, and Italy. Just Italy, it's a place that everybody wants to go visit. So you'll be able to be there and, and experience how beautiful Italy is. And, um, but the Renaissance era was great for us because it's like really a moment in time where uh, everything changed, everything switched. Uh, it's the birth, the beginning of the modern world. This is where the banking system was invented, for example. Uh, it's the beginning of guns. So, <laughs> and You're hinting at stuff that might be in the game here. Uh, yeah. yeah, we have a hidden gun. So uh, here we go. I, I said it. And, um, so that's all the reason why we went to the Renaiss Italian Renaissance. I'd like to pick up on something you said there, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, Machiavelli. What, what kind of parts do they play? I understand that Leonardo da Vinci is like uh, his cue to, to say, but, but is Machiavelli also playing a part like that? Uh, well, Leonardo da Vinci, like you said, is the, the main friend of our main character called Ezio. And yes, he's uh, the inventor. So you're going to do some gadgets to the player, upgrades, you know, weapon upgrades and, and things like that. And Machiavelli is in fact a leader of a faction because that's also a new, a new thing in Assassin's Creed 2 is the fact that you're not, the assassin will not be alone the entire game. You will have some friends and we call them faction. You will be able to do mission for them and eventually they're going to help you out. And you can also buy some of, uh, some of some of the factions of the group and uh, ask them favors and they will like fight for you, go and distract some guards for example. So, so that's also a brand new uh, thing in Assassin's Creed 2 and Machiavelli is one of the leader of those factions. He's kind of into leadership and that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but he's a young Machiavelli just like Leonardo also. That's what was so great when we went and tried to do the game is that we could play with the characters when they were younger, when they were like the age of the main character, which is around 20, 25 years old. So, so that takes us to the main character. Uh, can you tell us a little about his motifs and his background? Well, first his name, Ezio, Ezio Auditore da Firenze. He's a young Florentine noble who uh, is on a quest for vengeance. He had to, 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 to struggle with, with a great loss in his life and uh, he will have to learn to become an assassin because he's not at first. At first he's just living la dolce vita, you know, it's just having fun in life. And then something will happen and then he will meet some people who say, no, you know what, you come from a great family of assassins, you better go and, 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 and be one. And, uh, and then we'll go into the, you know, backstory, conspiracy of Assassin's Creed, you know, Assassins and Templars, but I, I don't want to spoil too much and say too much about the story. 